Yo, yo, this is a new series called Pain Into Power. So basically, I'm just gonna just tell y'all my stories of what I've been through and how I just turned all that pain, I guess, into power, right? It's kinda, you know, not like the best of things to bring up, but I don't, like, it doesn't really like hurt me. It's like it did before. You know, because, like, obviously I healed from it. But, you know, just, uh, I just get right into it. Pain is power. Let me see. First time. Started off. Beginning of my journey was when I first started TikTok, I would say. Right? I was working every day. Kind of just trying to find a way out. And just getting getting like in a, a moment of like getting separated from my family and like basically got kicked out the house that we were living in and then my parents split up for a little bit they're still split up now but like they just split up kind of like looking like no hope left for us guys because you know me and my dad went away to my mom and my little sister went away so. But looking like there's nothing left for us. But we we sufficed, you know, we overcame and uh just like got got ourselves back on our feet again. And at the moment I didn't really see it as like pain or hurt. I just saw that as like a new beginning. You know. I was like, yeah, I'm about to be with, living with my dad for a minute. We're about to get spread, we about to get on uh, the come up, we about to and we about to get the hustle on the grind and we did but then like that was also a moment in my life where I grew a lot from experiencing situations pain hardships um I don't know to me it was a really good time in my life you know I was just kind of living the crazy life like that was like like one of those life situations where you're thinking you're finna stay that way forever you know what i mean like you know when people like get caught up in the trenches and then like they do drugs and then just get caught that way forever yeah that's like the situation i was in i'm just working like a nine to five doing these drugs like I'm not saying that's like a, it's just the truth but you know doing these drugs and then just like really just doing what i do every day so it's like go to work come home do some, do some fucking weed or something. Just like, play video games, you know, repeat, rinse, repeat, you know. Occasional um, arguments with my pops, you know, just like, kinda, just like, we were working together, but also button heads. We very um, father and son, like this, the sun's trying to grow, get out to the world, but the father has a like, hold, you know. And it's like, he was a big influence, I'll say that. But I'm here now. But let me continue. So, you know, he's like big influence. He his butt heads a lot. You know, most of the time I try to work it out. Most of the time he be saying like some shit wrong with me, this that when I'm growing. So it kind of limit me. So I just constantly been like held down. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be held down. So I try to find other ways to get out. So you know, at the moment in time, still living in an apartment every day, kind of grinding TikTok. That's when I started it. Just uh, one moment I was alone, thought of the idea of posting Baki poses, remaking Baki poses. And at the time, I noticed like in the martial art community on TikTok, that's when I like, that's that would blew me up. But I also started getting the martial art TikTok like more blown up. Like I noticed more creators started doing the same thing I did. And it was great. I mean, it was great. And, you know, at the time, still drugs, drugs circulating, all this bad stuff going on. You know, it's just like, you see the good side, me grinding, posting videos, trying to get out. And this is the bad, this is the bad side, you know, that's like the good and the bad, you know. So the bad side was like alcohol, drinking, you know, drugs, all that shit. Going out late at night, doing the mischievous things, like fucking, you know, shit like that. And honestly, there'd be some, some days where I'd be starting something new, and then I'd just fall back into that path of, 
drugs and like I'd be on this new path and once I started the Hustlers University when it was first popping you know and I was doing it learning copywriting then just kind of went towards drugs you know what I'm saying instant gratification I didn't want to grind it out just in me it just didn't really feel like satisfying to me you know what I'm saying like getting easy cash for the sake of like learning a high value skill which in turn I dropped that skill learning a new one but you know we'll get to that later but you know I just kind of got into doing drugs hard drugs light drugs and honestly like I said it was like one of those moments where like you start to lose hope like you're like is this really my daily life and I was like, nah, bro, I got to do something. I got to do something with myself. You know what I'm saying? I got to do something with my life. So then I chose to pick up, like, sales. Right? Something like I seen a video on TikTok, and I was like, like mm, I like that. You know, shout out Ro Gallagos. I seen, like, his video. He's like, I'm going to help y'all get started, blah, blah. You know, started talking to this guy. He helped me put me on the right path, really. You know what I'm saying? We took calls, started learning the skill, picking up the trait. And it led me to... You know, making money out of thin air, which like my father at the time, when he thought that was physically impossible, his way of making money is work hard, sell drugs. Like that's what I was, that's what I was doing for a while. But I don't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? Used to be like doing that stuff. You know, I'm not proud of it. You no, know, I decided to do what I had to do to survive. Um, and kind of led to me getting off that path to learn the high school trait which, like I said, was sales calls, right? So I got into sales calls, you know, trying to close some deals, yada, yada. And I built, that's when um, I thought of the idea to build a program off of my workouts. Like my workouts that I've done over the years, because that's the one thing I never gave up on, my martial arts, like working out, keeping myself in shape, keeping myself sane, really. And yeah, just like chose that path. I created a workout, started sponsoring it, selling it it's crazy because i started from scratch like i thought of everything i have in all my notes it's like literally just from the bottom it's great you know that's when i was like really still just heavy influence with the drugs and like that shit was like almost like colliding into one making a, a weird world i mean was it fun hell yeah you know what i'm saying that shit was fun Came alive, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy life wherever I'm at. I could be in the trenches, happy. I could be fucking high, so my life still be the same. You know what I'm saying? Right in the middle, I'm happy still too. You know, but I, like at the same time, I just felt like I was alone. Cause I knew deep down, like I wanted to do more, better. It was like the pain of being held down and the pain of when you're all, when you're the only one trying to grow, but no one around you is trying to grow with you. They're just stuck in the same ways. So I had to decide, like, lock into what I'm trying to do and go full in or, like, still just, like, stick to the old pathways of, like, what they're doing. Because there was a time when the fucking, like, pretty much got kicked out of that place. So, yeah. Still working. I think I have to work. I get off. Um, make videos. Try to find new ways to just, like, make money. I hang out with friends, spar a lot. I used to, I even um, decided to try MMA. I went to a gym. Thought like I could do something there. You know, just a lot of self doubt. A lot of, a lot of people just not really giving me the encouragement I was hoping for. But it's like you can't really hope for that. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of gotta do it yourself. Cause when I tell people, they're like, oh, blah blah, you you you're, uh, you don't wanna even hurt your pretty face. So like, uh, man, those dudes have too much experience. Like. Every single doubt, every single thing you've heard, I've heard it. Still did it though. You know, when they're sparred, I didn't notice like my skill level. It's definitely not something that should be slept on. Like I'm very confident in myself and I'm very proud of what I could do. And I know what I can do. So if anybody's trying to spar box, you know what I'm saying? You know, hit me up. I'm down actually. I like to do that stuff. But you know, I tried that for a while. That's when I learned a lot of my skills. I went to jujitsu gyms. Just like one night, went to the gym, sparring, did a couple moves that they were teaching. Afterwards, the sensei, the master of the dojo actually wants to spar me afterwards. I was like, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Experience, you know? Was it a good one? Yes and no.
because I just knew wrestling and he knew all the techniques on the floor. So I would like overpower him. He would just fucking lock me up like, oh, what the fuck? Type shit. But then I learned and I went to the MMA gym and never like that. That actually set me up perfectly for it. It's weird how it works. You know, I always have like a, a faith in myself, but also in like higher power. Because around that same time, I was like in a mindset of like hopelessness. So I had to just like keep going, even though I didn't know if it was going to work or not. So I had to have faith. And that's, that's like part one of my story. So yeah, pain to power, episode one. I'm going to call it pain to power. It's episode one. Mm, you know, that's just like one season of my life, one arc, one lifetime. You know, I was actually in a moment of digging myself in a hole because I was starting to get reliant on like substance abuse. Honestly, whenever I started getting more into my TikTok in those videos, that's when I was like focused in. I was like, these, these drugs don't even make me feel nothing no more. Like, I feel like when I was doing the drug, and I'd be like, man, what am I doing this for? I should be doing this. So, yeah, that's episode one, Painted the Power. You know, pretty much the overall gist and lesson that I got from it was, you know, don't be afraid to go reach for your dreams. You know, I mean, shit, I tried fucking <laughs> hustle the university from nothing. Tried MMA fighting to be the champ. I literally said I'm gonna be the MMA champ. And then, then I learned the high value skill of going. That's when that's when I started getting out of that area. But we'll get to that in a different episode. But I'm just telling you now, like, don't be afraid to go try shit. Don't be afraid to put, like, whatever you want to put your time into, make it count. You know what I'm saying? Don't be sitting around anticipating what to do. Get get to it. You know? That was really my hustle. That, that was my hustle season. My hustle art. I was, I'd be working, come home, learn that value skill, make your TikToks, hustling, selling you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was just running around on my own block selling. I just don't be on my block. Like, <sighs> crazy. That's when I be drinking, partying. Craziest time of my life. Also the best. Would I say the best? Most fun, I would say, just because that's what the, uh, like, that's what the substances do. They just kind of make you like, ah, oh, like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, like, or just like, hey, yeah, man, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Type, you know? I mean, of course, I still have it all in me. That's just my personality. But yeah, pain is the power. You know what I'm saying? If you're feeling hopeless, you feel like someone's constantly trying to limit you, if you just feel pain, like anytime you're trying to progress forward, have faith. Have faith in yourself and in what you can't see. Envision something you want to create. Go for it. Create it. You, know? you can do it. If I, can't, if I did it, you can do it too. You know what I'm saying? If I built up everything I have now, you can build it up too. And it's like that. Episode one, pain to power. Pain to power. And if y'all like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Support your boy. We're trying to, um, now nah, we're doing something great. But yeah, thanks.